Hey, it's Paul from the Camp Bowie Beard Company here today. How are you guys doing? Um, I get asked a lot of questions about how to style a mustache and how to use mustache wax. So what I thought I'd do is a quick video and show you my routine and you can see how that works for you and see if that helps. So what I start with, so I have a slightly damp mustache out of the shower. This is the mess that I deal with every day. Uh, comb it to separate it, get it going to one side. Try to separate it from the beard if you have one and get it going like that. And that kind of gets it going in the right direction. Then what I like to do is I like to use a small round brush and a blow dryer. And I found this little round brush at a local beauty supply store and it's been great. And then I have my little blow dryer. It's small, compact, but powerful and it's got a very narrow nozzle on it so it's a little easier to work with. So what I do is I take the round brush and I start on the top side of the beard with that and then follow along the underside of the beard with the blow dryer. So here's how that works. It's gonna get a little noisy, and I do this several times back and forth to kind of get the shape going. side. If you notice, I'm giving a little roll on the ends and that kind of helps give the mustache a little curl, a little uplift. Gives it your basic shape. Some of you, that may be all you need to, to head out to the day. Um, I know my mustache, and it'll get a little wilder within a short period of time. So what I like to do is add a little mustache wax on top of that. Today, I am working with the Derby Club. This is a very light, crisp scent. It's got uh, notes of citrus oils, um, spearmint, rosemary, and a couple other things in there. It's a very nice, clean smell. So what you want to do is take your wax, take the tin off, or the lid off, and I use the back of my thumbnail and scrape out a small ball like that. I recommend starting light. Um, it's a lot easier to add more than it is to take it away. So you want to soften it up in your fingertips. Get it on both sides like that. And then I like to work it into my problem areas first. And for me, it's the area along the lip line because that's where everything seems to go wrong with me. It all tends to fall apart and fall down into my mouth. So I start. Moving it along those lines like that. And just work it in gradually. You don't want to pull, you don't want to pull out any hairs. So you want to work it in gradually. Let the heat of your fingers soften the wax up and work it in. And just keep working it in. If you need more, go back and add more wax. And work it out towards the ends. Getting your shape together. Like so. And comb it. And get the shape that way. Now I like to follow it back up with the blow dryer again. And that also helps if the wax is clumping. You can hit it with the blow dryer and that'll soften it back up and you can spread it a little easier. But I also like to use this just to kind of set the style a little more. <laughs> If you're looking for the more natural style, then that's really all you need to do. You're good to go from this point. Just kind of get it straight. Get it to where you want it. And then leave it alone. Separate the beard again. Now if you're looking for something that's a little more stylized, like a good handlebar, uh, you can add more wax then. 
Um, handlebars come in various shapes, sizes, however you want to do it. Some people do a lot of wax in the center and come out so it's a long, thin, tapered mustache. Me, I like to do more of just the ends. I like just the ends to be waxed. So what I do then, go back to your wax, get another little ball, get it softened up, and then separate your mustache. And then where you want it to start being tight, just start sliding this ball of wax down the mustache. You don't want to pull, you don't want to twist, you can damage the hairs if you twist it. So just kind of keep pulling it and pull it straight out to the side. Until you feel it's all together. You can kind of lightly roll it to get the shape, but you don't, like I said, you don't want to twist. And that's usually about all it takes. And then just kind of get it to the shape you want. Then come back over to the other side. Do the same thing, get your ball of wax. Start slowly sliding it out, working it in, gentle, you don't want to pull, but don't forget if hairs do come out, if you didn't feel any pain, you're probably not having any, any issues there, so, but just kind of get it into shape, make sure your ends are tight. Find the shape you want, using a close-up mirror over here, like that. If you have extra wax on your fingertips, you can kind of go back over the edges, make sure they're clean. I've got some little flyaways here that are giving me of trouble. You can also use it on your sole patch if you got issues there, which I do. They tend to curl up into my mouth from the opposite side. Give it a little comb over. There you have it. That's all it takes. Not all that hard. So give it a shot. Try it at home. Alright guys, you have a good one.